Okay, so I think we cleared out most of the town. We haven't obviously talked to anybody or really looked at anything other than just filling out the auto map, but I, I was looking through these sort of uh, these corridors, I guess, for uh, the gods, and there's a secret passage here. So let's see what this is. Let's obviously save the game. There is a little nook in the wall here, through which we have an excellent view of the lake. Under the dim green light of the glowing fungus above, you can see a long way. It's a beautiful but eerie sight. That's really nice. Yeah. So yeah, Kacho is like right next to the lake. Uh, so it's just, I don't know, it's just a really cool town, I think. So we walked in this way and there's like statues here. Um, not sure if we can, can we talk to these guys? No. So there's like statues all around the town, which is pretty neat. Uh, there's a lot of like, A lot of like uh, this cool areas. It seems pretty well defended compared to uh, the other towns. So I think that's telling that the Slith are probably harder to deal with than the uh, the Nephew. So I think these are just yeah, it's just like kind of entry points. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's that. And there's this cool little uh, like dock here. That's really nice. Um, and let's, let's start with this. Let's see who this person is. In fact, let's, uh, let's look for uh, town's person. Okay, that was pointless. There is a pregnant woman with long blonde hair behind the counter. She smiles. My name is Jenny. Welcome to my store. I brew a wide variety of, pot of, of different potions. I am an alchemist by trade. Okay. Uh, she smiles apologetically. I'm afraid I don't sell my secrets. However, there is a mage visiting who mentions some, some having some skill in alchemy. He's been staying around the ball. You might ask him. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see what she sells. So, these are potions. Okay. Potions are expensive in, in this game, which makes sense because you're literally, you have been exiled into a cave. So it's like resources are kind of scarce. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I think this would be the next place to go. The large building to the north is a boat orcs. Small craft are everywhere in various stages of construction. Then, when completed, there is a long island track on which they can be rolled down to the lake. Impressive. Yeah, so, you know, Katra is just kind of this, you know, e even though, you know, it's pretty rough down, 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 you know, uh, they have like an entire f facility for making boats and getting them to, to the lake. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. And obviously, Silvall had a place to make boats as well, but this seems kind of advanced. Okay, we actually disappear. That's kind of interesting. Oh, wait, we actually move into the boat. That's a cool detail. Okay. Uh, you see a heavy man with a peg leg. He wears an eye patch, but you can't help but notice he occasionally lifts it and looks at something with both eyes. He makes a brief all noise. <laughs> you aren't sure why all, oh, matey, I'm Eduardo. Um, excuse me. You aren't sure why. He says... Oh, matey, I'm Eduardo. I'm the master boatsmith here. He says, oh, again. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, job. I sell boats, fine crafts, fit to sail the seas. Or the lakes. I've got one ready to purchase. You look tough enough to brave the danger, matey. And a bargain at 250 gold. I think this might be cheaper than the boats at Silver. Um, I'm not sure we're ready to buy a boat yet, uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, Link can I help you. Okay, I'm not sure if he uh, there's anything else we can talk to him about, but anyway, you see a teenager. He's busy eagerly walking on the boats. I'm Andrew. I'm apprenticed to Eduardo. Just walking on the boats, spreading tall, fill filling holes, following Eduardo's orders. Sounds like a pretty uh, good employee. I don't think there's anything here. No. Okay. 
So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to check all, all of these. We'll do that some other time. And yeah, so this is called Boat Orcs. Okay. Let's see here. Um, and we can go to this place. Metal letters embedded in the wall. City Hall. Okay. Talk to him. A while... A... a uh, I was going to say wheelie, but... A, y, a, a wily, novice man sits behind the desk. He has long, frazzled hair and, and an aggressive bald spot. I'm Paul. I'm the secretary to his lordship, Mayor Steele. If you have some business with him, you have to ask me. But he's pretty busy with this prisoner business. You'd have better luck in the library. Door on your left. Not much there, mostly records. He chuckles. But he knows, there might be a magic scroll. Hmm. Okay. The left. So, my left would be the door. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess there isn't, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure if he would get angry if we just kind of walked in... Yeah, they don't really kill, um, but anyway. A gray-haired man hunches over a desk, muttering to himself. He wears impeccably clean silk robes. Huh? He looks up at you briefly. Why did Paul let, let you in here? Go away. What? Look, I'm very busy. Unless you have something important to say, please go away. Ah, you're forward. Yes, the Nephilim... Captured half dozen of our troops in an ambush last week. It took them to their fort by the lake, to the north. If someone could rescue them and report back to me, I would reward them generously. Okay, so this guy is the one that would be giving the quest. The problem is... Um, come back when you have... Okay... Okay, we're going to have to walk all the way back um, and talk to, I guess, the one guy that actually survives. That's fine. Uh, let's see, what is it, this guy's name? Uh, Steel, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's something to do. Okay, so... Uh, maybe we should record that a little, 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 really quick. Uh, talk. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Just in case I, 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 I forget. Okay, let's go to heal. Uh, Elspeth's arms and armor. She might sell better stuff. You see a lethal looking woman in a leather baldric. Knives poke out from various places on her anatomy. I'm Elspeth. Welcome to my humble shop. She grins in a reassuring, lamprey-like way. I deal in armor and weapons. And if you have any supplies you don't need, you can sell them to me. What with the lizards around, business has been very, very good. The Slith... The, the Slith Zerakai. That's what they're called. They all live to the west, and, they, and they've just started raiding and attacking. Like we didn't have enough trouble with the Nephilim. She looks back at the wide variety of weapons on the walls. Yes, it's been a two-front war, but we're holding them off pretty well. Better than some. Let's see here. What should we talk about? Okay, I think maybe that's all that she has to say. Uh... What do you sell? Nothing good, okay. Okay, bronze chainmail, that actually seems like an upgrade. I'll have to check the, uh, the guide and see the specific stats on this and see if it's worth the upgrade. Usually it's better to just 
picks them up, pick items up from enemies that drop them, but, you know, that can take a while, though. Uh, we don't have anything to sell, so that's really all we have to do. Okay, uh, what to next? Okay, we've done that. These two, I think, would be the last places we need to go. An old wood sign says storage. Keep out. Okay, um... I mean, we could try to un unlock this. I don't think anyone is going to get too mad at us. Nothing there, and then the last uh, place that we need to check, I guess this is the tavern. So there should be a mage here that can tell us about alchemy, and that does seem to be him to the south. An aging, raven-haired woman tends ball. She wears gray homespun, uh, which must chafe awfully. She wears gray homespun clothing? I, I, I guess there seems to be text missing at times, but maybe that's just me. I'm Elizabeth, owner of the, the, the Dark Lake Pub. I sell food and drink. Also, if you need a room for the night, we have one out back. Just say the word. On tap today is fine mold ale. Only three gold to drink. A room is fine, and you can buy rations. Okay, let's, uh, let's buy some food. Yeah. Ooh, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, so that, that's something that is kind of important. So Silver has like the cheapest food on the map, which is like one gold for one food. This is like four gold for, I guess it was six food, I think. Let's check. Yeah, so that's uh, math. I don't... Anyway. Yeah, Um. so that, that, that that's not... As good and we have plenty of food so i'm not gonna do do that uh there's a chest here okay let's talk to this guy first a young steely-eyed man sits well back in the corner he's hard to make out in the shadows he looks you up and down coldly my name just call me asp just passing through <laughs> uh Okay, what is... Can't help you. Okay. So he's kind of just like a shady character. You see a man in flowing robes, a polished staff close at hand. He doesn't seem to appreciate the attention. I'm called Koenig. I'm here looking for the crystal cave, and I prefer to be alone at the moment. A legendary dangerous cave filled with powerful crystals. You hear of it from time to time, and if I knew of it, I wouldn't tell you. Okay. <laughs> well, we, uh, we found the, um... The waterfall cave uh, filled with crystals, so I'm not sure... Guess we can't really do anything? Okay, uh, but we can talk to him about alchemy. Alchemy, his dowel face twists into a slight smile. Ah, you must have been speaking with Jenny. What I was saying was that a man named Miles just found an interesting new recipe for strength potions. Not at all challenging. If you're interested, he lives somewhere around Fort Dubno, I think. Ask him about alchemy. Okay... Is guess that's all we can really do. Let's save that. Uh, okay, cool. And uh, there's like, is there a secret here? I think there might be a secret out back. Oh, well, there's just a door. That 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 could be it as well. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to see if we could 
maybe I was typing in the wrong key keywords because I want to stay the night and I'm curious how you do that. There we go, room, okay. Finally, I forgot how to do that. Okay, room, you type room, it's that simple. Okay, cool. That cost us some gold. How much did that cost us? Okay, we're, we are broke. But that's okay. So that is the town of Katra. I will probably... I don't know how long we've been recording, but I really want to finish that quest. So we're going to go back to the Nephilim Fort and talk to the prisoner and see if we can get him to leave. I'm going to obviously fast forward this and I will see you in a little while. keep all of that footage in there even if it's sped up that could take quite a while but basically uh, that's the wrong fort there's actually a different fort supposedly up north so yeah we kind of did that for nothing but we ended up fighting quite a few enemies and we actually got uh let's see here if, if i can uh, we got chainmail so we actually should identify this, so we should have walked back to Fort Dubno instead of all the way back here, so. <laughs> uh, I, well, may, maybe we can identify it here. Uh, I don't think we can, but anyway, I think that that's enough for this ep episode, and uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.